speed run <laughs> through that menu yeah i'm not gonna be able to beat this game today i don't have the time so this is crystal cave somewhere inside this cave there should be a passageway that goes to azel's lake but it will take us forever if we search every step of the way for starters let's go as deep as we can let's try our best harmonia hate subtitles design grove isle looks so much cooler i know right very first step I take. Subtitle's just wonky. But yeah, I... I guess I'm finishing the game tomorrow then. I'm not gonna be able to do it today. There's not enough time in the day. Unless I wanna like, be super tired and work tomorrow or something. Someone picked up Dig, that's a pretty good move. Oh, fun. Let's just hurl some silver spikes then. It wasn't you that picked it up in that case. Septile is just so dumb looking. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm a gecko. I'm a tree gecko. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> You always have the same starters. Yeah, for me, it's a but It's usually roughly the same. Okay, there's a dig on the ground for some reason. But yeah, I always go with Riolu and either Eevee or Vulpix. Vulpix definitely makes things easier. But with not having the runaway ability. Come on. Oh yeah, I was gonna reteach Cynthia Quick Attack. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. I completely forgot. Those misses. I know, right? Hate it when that happens. Come on. Still not dead. Use Riolu and Pikachu. I've thought about using Pikachu before. I used Pikachu and PMD3 like the one time I've ever played it. <laughs> Just because there's like no other real meh options. But yeah, I main Pikachu and Smash, so I've thought about doing Pikachu before, at least in PMD1. So there are probably loads of things you missed. <laughs> Welcome back, Haunt. Yes, there were indeed some important story. S sorry, story things you missed. Sorry you care about fireworks. Oh, uh, mean. But yeah, let's go this way. Basically, we're stopping the Thief Grovile from stealing time gears. That's what's going on here. Whoa! That was lots of damage to Cynthia there. Yeah, you chill in there for a hot second. Oh. Oh, never mind. Knockoff does no damage. Unlike in regular Pokemon games. Let's. Uh, whoops! Ah! Uh, let's do that. Card's your favorite Pokemon. You're so basic. And Pikachu, because Blue Rescue Team, your original team was Bulbasaur and Pikachu. Nice. Yeah, Lucario's probably my second favorite Pokemon, I'd say. My favorite is Mew. By far. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I recently did a full playthrough of PMD1 on stream, and I was debating about saying the partner or myself as Pikachu. Because I main Pikachu in Smash. I don't, I don't think there's anyone else here right now that mains Pikachu and Smash, is there? I don't, I don't think there's anyone in my chat that does that, do they? I don't want to learn Screech. Wait, Knockoff does damage? In regular Pokemon games, it does. I think it does, at least. Does it? <laughs> Lit a lot, and this is the most fireworks you've seen in your life. Pennsylvania finally got smart. <laughs> you made fireworks legal, and you realized how... You have money they'd make off fireworks. Your town proves a point. Fireworks are still going, just died down a lot. Jeez. Yeah, they can sometimes go on for a while because they are lit in phases, I guess. Yeah, those are your means. Whoa. Let's do that. So it's definitely not me. So who could it be then? Hmm. 
who could the mystery person be? I guess they don't exist. I don't know why I'm tossing a spike. Oh, fun. Now I got to take a whole lot of extra damage until I find a wonder tile. Or the stairs, that works too. Maybe I should have healed before I went to the next level. But, oh uh, well. Didn't I just pick up that item? Did I, was there two items on that floor and I missed the other? Because I still see a blue item kind of symbol right there. This way. You'll be up until 3 a.m. hearing lots of fireworks. Jeez. Yeah, they aren't quite as grand here for Canada. Ooh, neat. Midnight is when it goes down. Let's go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Boost critical hit ratio. Yes, please. So that speaks for itself. So you'll probably be up for a while then. <laughs> what is my RNG? Brick break. Could be useful. Could indeed be. Don't you dare. You ate my gummy. How dare you. How dare you do such a thing. What does prison ban do again? Prevents confusion. Neat. Let's just, yeah. Let's do that then. Oh, hey, it's a golem. Hey, man. Wow, it didn't kill. Neat. This way then. Hmm. Oh, hey, man. Lots of rock types just to come to my fighting site moves. Oh, man. I so love having the cursor be where you left it in the menu, unlike PMD1. Karib is at level 27 now. Way above me. One problem, smoke. Lots of smoke. Yeah, that's a thing that happens. Is indeed. How dare you. How could you do this? So that's really not good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spurn orb. Neat. I'll take that. I'll take all the things, in fact. Wow! I just... Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. PMD1 makes you appreciate storage system in PMD2. But... Oh yeah, the storage system of, like, how it comes to getting your items. Yeah, that's a lot better. But... You could hold a lot more items in the storage in PMD1, couldn't you? Like, I'm full on storage already in this game. Which bums me out, man. Jeez. Carvia was taunted. What was that? Whoa! Level up, dude. Pittsburgh does thousands of fireworks this day? Jeez. I guess they just have to celebrate America real good, right? You'd be surprised. Hey, a save statue. Is this the deepest part of the caverns? Hermo oh, Harmonia, over there. Look at these three giant crystals. They're in different colors, too. It's obvious that they're not like any of the other crystals. On the way here, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary. So these three crystals must be clues, Harmonia. They must be keeping a secret. Makes sense. I feel the same way. On the journey to Foggone Lake, where we met Yuxi. Where? Watch out, everyone! We have to get back. Where? Grout on stone statue held the secret. Then, on the way to the underground lake, when we, where we met Mesprit. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Quicksand pools allowed passage into the underground lake. Could this place lead to Azelf's Lake? Should be like those other two places. Should also be a secret here. Oh wow, this crystal changes color when you touch it. This crystal changes color when you touch it too. This might be a clue to solving this place's secrets. See for yourself. Touch one of these crystals, Harmonia. Color does change when I touch it, and it can change into a variety of colors. Three crystals? Changing colors? What could this all mean? Urgh. Starting again.
A dimensional scream. I see. Of the three spiritual elements of knowledge, emotion, and willpower, Azelf is the being of willpower. Willpower is the motivation that drives us. It's a unifying power. To unify is to make one, so if the colors of the crystals were made one, the past should reveal itself. What is the color of Azelf's spirit? That is the question. Azelf lives at Crystal Lake, and Azelf's spirit must be affected by the crystals. That was, unlike my earlier experiences, all I heard was a voice. No, that's wrong. This, this happened once before. It was, it's that Groudon statue. I heard only a voice that time too. But why does that happen? Why did I hear only a voice then? And now? Hey, is there something wrong, Harmonia? Oh, did you have another vision? Did another dimensional scream come to you? I knew it. So, so what did you see? According to that voice, Azelf is the being of willpower. The voice said the crystals should all be made one color. Make the crystals one color. That's it. I need to match the color. These three crystals need to be all the same color. I guess you got an idea about what to do. Now, what's the color supposed to be? Color of willpower. That must mean the color of Azelf's spirit. Azelf lives at Crystal Lake. Crystal Cave, Crystal Lake. Is Azelf's spirit as clear as crystal? Or no, could be the color of cold water. Guess you're really convinced now. Okay, you should do whatever you need to, Harmonia. Try solving the secret of the three crystals. Alrighty. Uh, you'd be surprised, nothing like you think you guarantee it. Don't think so, because you can stack items with the same name. Unless they're actually, unless they're actually gravel walks or spikes. Not gonna lie, the guild members aren't exactly good at exploring if they miss this detail. I assume it's a guessing game like a color code to unlock or something. You called it. <laughs> Yeah, whoops, is in a sense. Wow, I couldn't even press B on that. I had to actually go to press cancel. Okay, Cacnea Green seems to be the best option to you. What, like with your name color? The chat there, Wah! a dreamer. <laughs> it's dangerous, Harmonia, let's back off. Summon Satan, summon Satan, summon Satan. <laughs> wow, what is this? That blue. There's a big jagged opening in the middle. You think that we should go through there? Maybe that leads to the leak where Azelf lives. Those three crystals were the key, Harmonia. They open a path that may lead to a time gear. Let's go, Harmonia. We're off to Azelf's lake. Every time you see Girl Violet, you can only hear Dan Green's voice. I do not know who that is. And BRB, no, you can't. I shall not allow this. Okay, go. <laughs> Should you quote that? Summon Sagan, Satan. <laughs> I mean, if you want, stop eating my gummies. Stop. Hey man, I'm gonna need you to nod for a hot second. I'm gonna need you to not do that. Oh. Well then. Ooh, that was quite a bit of damage. <laughs> um. Oh, well, it's a VA for Yu Gi in the English dub. Huh. Yeah, I've never watched any Yu Gi Oh! Like, ever. Wow! So I don't know these things. I don't know it, because in the PMD Sky trailer, he voices Girl Violet's hilarious. What, he had a voice in the trailer? Or in that little... Wow, someone spawned right there in the room I was in. That was pretty crazy right there. But, or in that little few episode anime that they did that was kind of meh. Yay, another level up. Is you get anime? Uh, let's do that. Whoa, we got sniped! No, wait, never mind. You hate anime, so you wouldn't know. And why is that? 25 minutes animation. Hmm. What do you mean? For this thing. For the little thing that they did for it.
But yeah, why is that haunt? What's so bad about it? I don't really ever watch it myself, but... I don't dislike it or anything. <laughs> Many reasons. The only one I've ever really watched is Pokemon, so... I feel like maybe I don't know that much about it. You <laughs> hate anime for many reasons. Everything. Got a quick healing. There's a lot of games that... Hey! Thanks, game! There's an Oran Berry there that I could get. It's just stupid, and other types of animation aren't, question mark? Let's use a bite. How dare you do that? Come on! Why do I get all these misses? Gory in the House is a good anime. I've never heard of it before, I'm sorry to say. Though, as I mentioned before, I know, like, nothing about anime, pretty much. But yeah, I played several games where that's its main art style, though. Like, my favorite game of all time, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that's very much its art style. Jeez, more pin missiles. Use a quick attack. Neato. Stop, you're making me feel either too old or too young. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome back, Carvia. Can I be totally honest, the only reason you think anime is popular is because the cute girls are in them. Seriously, the amount of pictures to say the least drawn of anime is outrageous. There's a lot of that of anything there. Um, sure. Big gone. And now most of the anime is random. Things I wouldn't know, but okay. Steal from the shop, please no. No plot. I wouldn't know, but have you seen any to know this? Ah. You must have evidence for your claims. This away. Do 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 do. Oh, please, yes. No. -uh. <laughs> that is not happening right there. I mean, if you used Pokemon as an example, then I'd be like, okay, you got me. <laughs> honestly. Then I honestly would. Oh, pressure. Fun ability. Have you know you've stolen from that shop about 10 times I haven't been caught? You've seen a few episodes of animes thanks to your friends. Oh, you saying thanks to your friends actually reminded me. I brought some friends out to a late cabin of mine a little while back. Okay, in honor of PMD1, where we nicknamed Abzal Twitch Staff, we're doing that here too. Twitch Staff makes a great return. But I brought some friends to this second home, this cabin by a lake, and they wanted to put something on Netflix. And I was like, okay, you have the choice then of what goes on Netflix. So because of that, <laughs> what they decided to put on, yeah, just like in PMD1, it's just Twitch staff. Wonderful. Welcome back, Twitch staff. But <laughs> what they decided to put on was One Punch Man, the first episode of it. And I was so confused by it. I was like, what the heck is going on? And the moment they start speaking, I was like, oh, it isn't even in English, of course. <laughs> I was laughing so hard the moment I realized that they put something on that wasn't even in English. <laughs> One Punch Man was possibly the weirdest thing that I've ever seen, honestly. And Abzal! Just all over the place, Pokemon being the main one that you saw. Pokemon is kind of more of a kid's show kind of thing. Like, it's very much directed towards children. And so, <laughs> Pogchamp and PMD1, the reason why you love Absol. Probably same here, honestly. <gasps> Treasure for me, whoa! But yeah, <laughs> apparently the two of them, the two that I brought out there, they're boyfriend and girlfriend and they're good friends of mine. Apparently the two of them would watch, dang it, would watch One Punch Man together from time to time. I was like, why do you watch this? <laughs> Really, you spawned in the room? <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know, man. What could it be? Okay, I don't even want that item anymore. At this rate. 
Never mind, all the dudes are dead. Of course we step on that. The anime is just so dumb. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> you dodge one sleep trap, you land on another one. Hey man, don't hate. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't have enough experience in it to really speak about it. I think it's just fine. I think there are some parts of some certain ones that can be really cringy and weird. But apart from that, that, that's like the only problem that I have with it. And I've noticed that in the games that I play too that have the art style, like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, or there's some scenes where it's just like, why would you do that? That was so unnecessary. That's like my only problem with it, really, I'd say. Gonna hate whatever you want, anime being something. Anime helps you escape the boring reality of life. Yeah, I have plenty of, I have a few friends actually that I know watch a lot of anime. Like, I know that a streamer friend of mine, Marshall Monkey, he's tried to recommend me ones before. I think. Or was that someone else? But he watched quite a bit of it. Oh. Look, Harmonia, it's the lake. Fantastic. Look at all those crystals sticking up from the surface. Is this lake where his elf lives? Oh, Harmonia. Look over there. Look in the middle of the lake, where it's like an island. I think I see someone. Let's go. And Smash does that with you? Hey, everyone has something. As long as it's not, like, something that does harm to themselves or others. Then don't hate on that. Don't watch that much recently, but still like watching some here and there. Hmm. Give you five good reasons to like and watch anime. I... Don't you don't have to like and watch it. You just have to not hate it <laughs> If you don't understand it that much, there's not really too much of a reason to hate it is all I'm saying I don't know who you were talking about there But you don't have there is no reason to like and watch it There just isn't a reason to hate it is all I'm saying. Oh What's happening there? That's that's Grovile Ugh. Now I'll take it. The time gear. No, N you can't take it. Never. Naruto in bleach. What? Is that actually a thing? <laughs> Greatness. This is this is what I saw in my vision during that dimensional scream. The vision I saw then. It was an event in the future after all. And how's it going today? Flash the dawn. Who's that over there, Azelf? If it is, Azelf's in trouble. Let's go help, hurry. Now, sunk down there. That is the time gear, isn't it? Fine then, Azelf, wasn't it? I must apologize, but I must take that time gear. Uh, wait. Hold it, Grovile. You know, my name? Grovile the Thief. I heard it from Yuxi and Mesprit that you were coming. It would have been better if I just knocked you out directly. But I also thought that I could possibly lose, so I set up a fail-safe system. What? What did you do? What? Wah! Tremors. Stab, 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 stab! Okay, so two shows. Okay, that makes more sense. This lake is covered by crystals. There's no way of getting at the time gear. Grovile, the time gear. You'll never get it now. Even in exchange for my life, you'll never. You, I mean to have it, and I will get it. I need the time gear, even if it means eliminating you, Azelf. Stop. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal. You're not taking the time gear, Grovile. I have no quarrel with you. Out of the way. No way, you can't make me. Are you serious? Then if you won't stand aside, I mean, that's reversed, but... Apparently my phone thinks I just said, Hey Siri. And it just wrote down, Hey Sirius, but if you want to decide. No, go away. I only just recently turned on Siri so I could change my music while I'm driving. Wow. What a world this is. 
And if you won't stand aside, you leave me no choice. I'll knock you out first. Just try and stop me. Greatness is an odd name for a show, and granted, you hardly watch TV. Twitch and YouTube are your source of entertainment and smash. What do I have here? I do have a stun seed to stall if I need to. Oh yeah, I picked up a brick break. I kind of forgot. I don't have any reviver seeds. I have another stun seed. I have three stun seeds. What a world this is. Hey Siri, I didn't say your freaking name. Yeah, and that time I actually did say hey Siri and it didn't even come on. Also, that's the first time that my phone has actually come on from me saying hey Siri when the screen wasn't on. Like it never does it when the screen's locked. Like, hey Siri. Okay, now it does. What a world this is. Okay. Let's do that to begin with. Ooh, yes, right up front. Wonderful. You two take it. You can do that. Absolutely, man. Critical hit. Come on, hit. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Let's do that. Do this then, man. Oh, yeah. Wow, Grovile sure likes dodging things, doesn't he? He sure does, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Give me that damage. Whoa, that did so much damage after two swords dances. Ask Siri what zero divided by zero is. Hey, Siri. What's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <laughs> wow. No, I'm not asking her more things. There's a game to play. Ugh. Get out of the way. I can't talk. But I won't step aside, ever. You refuse? Then you leave me no choice. And no, Cynthia's in serious trouble, but I can't move. This is all for the time gear. Forgive me. Wee! Stop. You violated the law. Gah. Oh, Tuskenor. Are you all right, Cynthia? Please, let me handle this. You? It's been too long. It wasn't easy finding you, Grovile. What was that? The great Dusknor knows Grovile? Gah, even here. Chase me even here? You're tenacious, all right. You cling to me beyond expectation. Grovile, you're not getting away this time. Dusknor, I'm surprised to see you in this world. But I'm ready. So you'll fight, then so be it. But can you win against me? Grovile vanished? That blasted Grovile. He never intended to fight me at all. There's no escaping me. The Great Dusknor vanished too? It just happened. I don't understand. They're trying to move, but I can't. I can't. Feeling faint. Eek, there, there they are. Hey, hey, come on, hurry. Oh, golly, they're down. Hey, hey, are you all right? They're badly hurt. Hurry, we need to get them back to the guild for treatment. All right. Just ask her to beatbox, it's funny, please. We'll see when cutscenes are done. Oh, are you awake? Where? You're in your room at the guild. You're both hurt. You've been asleep all this time. Are you alright, Harmonia? Oh, am I glad to hear it. I remember passing out at Crystal Lake. Seems like I can speak again. Oh, that's right. What happened to Azelf? Is Azelf okay? He's fine. Cynthia, compared to you two, his injuries weren't that severe. You gained consciousness earlier. He's in the guild now. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Glad you're okay too, Cynthia and Harmonia. I shall let the guild know you're awake. Everyone, they're awake. 
really awesome. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news. Oof, I'm mighty glad. If anything would have happened to you all, I'd, I'd, oof. You guys are getting so emotional about this. Oh, that's right. There's something that I need to tell everyone. Hey, hey. What would that be? What? What did you say? You're saying the great Dusknor and Grovile? They may have known each other from before all this? Yes, it sounded that way when we were getting ready to fight. Well then, what became of Dusknor? Well, Grovile escaped. I think he went after the thief. What? The emergency siren? Hey Diglett, what's the matter? What's the matter? Xenoblade 2 things. It's an alert from Magnemite. I'm told it has an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout your message down to the sentry post. Please speak clearly. Can you hear me? This is about... This is about an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. Everyone, please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. He will have a major announcement to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. That is all. We hope for your... For your cooperation. Thank you. I wonder what this is about. An important announcement? What might it be? Hey, hey no point in wondering. Let's go get the answer. Hey, hey, let's get a move to Treasure Town's main square. Chapter 13, Dusk Noir's Secret. Oh look, the guild members. So the guild's Pokemon were even called. For them to be called, something serious must be happening. Azelf! Yuxi, Mesprit! Are you alright? You're not hurt? Yep, I'm okay. The time gear? It's in Crystal Lake. It'll be safe there without your protection? It can't be stolen? Yep, it will be safe for now. Time gear is protected by an encasing cover of crystals. Stealing it won't be easy. Oh, Dusk Norser. Ah, Cynthia and Harmonia. You are safe. I'm so relieved. Dusk Norser, I'm glad to see you're back too. Thank you for saving us. So, what happened? What happened to Grovile? What became of him? I gave chase to Grovile, but he slipped away from me. Um, Dusknor, sir. Back at Crystal Lake, when you were fighting Grovile. Dusknor, sir. You and Grovile seem to know each other. What was... If I may interrupt, the great Dusknor plans to explain what he knows, and that topic will be included. Now everyone gather around, please. Golly, I wonder what this all could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me! Everyone is here. So, I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of time gear thefts. Several time gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Grovile. In the regions where a time gear has been stolen, the flow of time has come to a standstill. This is a serious problem, as I'm sure you can guess. Problems, funny problems. So. Grovile failed. Failed to seal time gear. This one was protected. Wow. Isn't that something? And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and chased off Grovile? That would be the great Dusknor right here. That's astounding! No wonder he's such a famous explorer. Officer Magnazone, I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course, please take it from here. Everyone, while we should be happy that we protected the time gear this time, the fact is, Grovile remains at large. Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Grovile will most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. There's another matter that is tied to all of this. This is an extremely important matter I must share with you. I'd like to explain it to you now. First, earlier, Cynthia asked me the following question. Did I know Grovile from before all this happened? That is correct. I do know Grovile from before all this. What? What I am, go what I am about to say may be beyond your belief, but it also happens to be the truth. Furthermore, if what I'm about to reveal isn't stopped, calamity is certain. I, therefore, ask for your undivided attention. First, Grovile is... Grovile is a Pokemon that came here from the future. From the future? Dad, what does he mean by from the future? I think he means from a time where things are yet to happen. But is something like that possible? A Pokemon coming from the future? Grovile, in the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled. And in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, Grovile plotted until he hit upon an utterly catastrophic plan. But what is it? What was his plan? It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. 
as many more are taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. <laughs> Ugh, sniffles! If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed? No winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The, the world's ruin? Is that what happens if the time gears are taken away? The way time has been going out of control lately. That too is caused by the thefts of the time gears. If the time gears continue to be stolen, the world will end in ruin. So, so that's what would happen. This is bad. We've got to do something. Hey, I have a question. There's something that I don't understand. Yes, what is it? Oh, yes, what is it? I understand that we've got a big problem on our hands. What I don't understand... Well, hey, it's about you, Dusknor, sir. Why do you know so much, Dusknor, sir? I mean, I know the great Dusknor is knowledgeable and wise. And sure, I really respect you and all. But how would you know the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Come to think... Ah, uh, yes. What Corfish said makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true. There's no way that I should know these things. So... Why do I know these things? It's because I, too, am a Pokemon from the future. What? Dusknor is another Pokemon from the future? My gosh and golly, this is all so complicated it's making my head spin. Yup, yup. My objective is to capture Grovile. It is for that reason that I came from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Grovile. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I am sorry. I have felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry, sorry for not revealing my identity. I am full of contrition. But what if I had been open about my identity from the start? What would have happened if I had said I was from the future? Who would have taken me seriously? Er. Also, I needed to avoid alerting Grovile to my presence. I decided that I should keep my identity hidden while I went about with my work. It makes sense. But it is also a fact that I've been deceiving you for keeping silent about my identity. I sincerely apologize. No, no, oh no, no. Please don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You had no choice. I concur. Dustinger has done nothing wrong in my book. We should focus on, co uh, we should focus our anger on Grovile. We must somehow capture him. Yeah, we're in deep trouble if we let Grovile go on. We need to catch him before the world gets ruined. Dustinger, sir, I'll be glad to help. M me too. By golly, me too. Hey, hey, count me in. We will cooperate as, well, we will cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We as Pokemon must all work as one to capture Grovile and put an end to Grovile's calamitous plot. Yeah! Dusknor, sir. In order to obtain the time gear from Crystal Lake, Grovile knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's still after my time gear, Grovile will come after me. We could turn it get that against him. Master Azelf and I can go to Crystal Lake. Then we can all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to seal the time gear so it can never be taken. If we did that, you think we would provoke Grovile to strike? I see. You're suggesting we bait the trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing you to danger as the bait. I'd like nothing more. If that means stopping Grovile, we're ready to take the risk. Then, I understand. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please, pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor, far and wide. Get the word out that the three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprin, and Azelf, spread word that the trio has returned to Crystal Lake to seal the Time Gear away. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want word of this to reach Grovile's ears? That's correct. But Grovile won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio of Yuxi, Mesprin, and Azelf to do something. I must ask them to actually go to Crystal Lake. I get it. Then when Grovile shows up to find Azelf and the others, that's when we catch him. No sniffles. I get it now. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Arrest, arrest. Hey, hey, I'm calling it. I'm gonna be the one to catch Grovile. No, it is my duty to catch criminals. I don't want to get outdone by the others. Let's do our best too, Harmonia. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Grovile, I would prefer to work alone. But pardon? Why? Grovile will be extremely wary. Even if you were to realize that Azelf and the other two have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he will be cautious in the extreme. 
So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he will undoubtedly know us the unusual number of Pokemon in the area. I'm afraid Grovile would not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way, so I must apologize and insist upon graveling, capturing Grovile myself. Oh, I see. It's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Cynthia. This time I hope to capture Grovile without any mistakes. Please forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were capturing Grovile. Yuta! At least, that was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey, if that's what it takes. We have no choice. Is that an acceptable plan, Guildmaster? Yep, yep. Thank you for confirming that. We stayed awake, thank goodness. Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize that I'm asking a huge favor, but please do your part in our plan. And let's capture Grovile using whatever means necessary. Yeah, even if it means murder. And gonna lurk again playing Smash. All right, sounds good. And thus, Dusknor and the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf set off for Crystal Cave. In the meantime, the other Pokemon busied themselves, spreading rumors that Azelf and the others were about to seal the time gear away. As for those Pokemon from Wigglytuff's guild, that's the current situation. Until everything is resolved, we ask that you go about your regular duties. Yes, we would like you to spread the rumor as much as possible, but not so much that it would make Grovile suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about your jobs in the usual manner. And, when possible, spread the rumor. That's what we would like you to do for the next few days. That is all. Alright, everyone. Let's have another good day of work. Hooray! Oh, you too. Take on the yada yada. Time to go progress by doing Beach Cave. Has sent a message. Special episode. Today's Oh My Gosh has been unlocked. The greatest thing that has ever been created in the history of the universe. What a masterpiece, absolutely. I must say. Okay, let's go progress by doing Beach Cave. Neat. Hey Siri. Beatbox. Here's one I've been practicing boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I could do this all day. Cats and boots and 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 cats. Thanks, Siri. Thanks, that was real good. What a world. What a world this is then. Let's do that. Whoa, I cleared Crystal Cave. Crazy, man. What a hard gungeon. Do 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 do. Wonder how many days I have to progress it by. I'm going to be so underleveled. By doing this. Oh man. Stupid nose. Meh. What the heck? <sighs> Are you still awake, Harmonia? I have to admit that today was full of surprises. The great Dusknor's talk about coming from the future, that was mind blowing. Dusknor tracked Grovile from the future to our world. He came to catch that wicked Grovile and to take him back to the future. That's why the job of capturing Grovile falls to him. We have to trust Dusknor about this. I admit, it would be great if we could capture Grovile ourselves, but I'm not skilled enough yet. We have to depend on Dusknor after all. Harmonia, I guess you're asleep. I better get to sleep too. I hope Grovile gets caught soon. Good night, Harmonia. The next morning. Up and at him, it's morning! Ugh, good morning, Harmonia. Do, do, do. Do, 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 dumb, itchy nose. Ahem, so here's where it stands. We have not yet received word of Grovile's capture. Hey, are Mester and his friends all right? We don't know that either. We've received no information at all. We're in the dark. That said, we can't go off on our own and spoil the trap. We'll have to stand down until we receive word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So everyone, let's get back to work today. Hooray! Yada yada jobs. Let's go do Beach Cave again because speed. Speed, man. Speed is key. Let's go. 
Where would you like to go? I would love to go to Beach Cave, thank you for asking. That is where I would like to go. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. I should have grabbed the Warren Berry first. Kill him. Kill him good. Oh, yeah. I forgot to switch, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Ah. Though it probably doesn't matter at this point in the game. For those who know what happens. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go real good. And we made it to the end of Beach Cave. Whoa! Neat. Oh. Do, 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 do. Say, Harmonia? Wonder how Zilf and his friends are doing. I think maybe they're fighting Grovile? Oh, I just can't sleep when I think about that. But if you stop to think, this is all so very strange. I mean, Pokemon from the future? Something that extraordinary is really possible? That's true. It's hard to accept that Pokemon would come from the future. Come to think of it, it's never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dusknoir and Grovile came from. What's it like? Is the future like the present day? Is it a world at peace? Oh, it's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. We're going to sleep, Harmonia. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. The next Monan. Banana, it's morning. Ugh, good morning, Harmonia. What is this game? This is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, my second favorite game of all time. My favorite Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but this was my favorite game of all time for a very long time. It is a masterpiece of a game. Mystery Dungeon. Ahem. About the attempt to capture Grovile. We have yet to receive word that Grovile has been captured. I understand that you are all itching for something to happen, but consider this a test of your patience, because we ask you to carry on with your usual work. Oh, what's that siren? Deputy, Magno Deputy Magnemite is here. This is a message from Officer Magnazone. We are pleased to deliver this report. Grovile has finally been captured. Whoa, at last! By gosh, Grovile's been caught? Oh my gosh, they did it, yippee! There's more. Grovile was captured by the great Dusknor. He has informed us that he will return to the future with Grovile. Dusknor is going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? I do not claim to understand the process, but I have heard they will be going through a tunnel. He called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square, I am told. Dusknor told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes you will come to see him for the last time in Treasure Town Square. Hey, well, what are we waiting for? Let's hurry. We have to go to Treasure Town. Hmm. <clears throat> Everyone's already here. Hey, I don't see the Great Dusknor around yet. What's that? That is the dimensional hole. Dimensional hole? Oh, what Magnemite was trying to explain earlier. Golly, this is it? Isn't that something? So stepping inside this here thing will take you to the future? Watch out. Stay clear. The instant you touch it, you will be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Oof. Oh. Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf too. Cynthia. You're all safe. Am I glad to see that? Naturally. So did the plan succeed? Yep. I have to hand it to the Great Dusknor. It was flawless. Grovile's been captured, and we regained all the time gears he'd stolen. Yes, I'm so glad. Dusknor should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the Great Dusknor. Here comes the Great Dusknor. Everyone, make way! <laughs> Grab move. That's... That's Grovile? He looks like a bad guy, that's for sure. <laughs> it's great they finally caught him. That's right, the world was nearly ruined because of him.
Everyone, today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Grovile. Grovile has been captured. This was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. As you can see, Grovile is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in lasting peace for your world. Mm -mm. Looks like they have Grovile muzzled. Can't say a word that way. But I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true, hey hey? I'm feeling the blues. There is so much I wanted to learn from you, yep yep. Yuxi, Mesprit, Azelf, I entrust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the time gears back, and we will make sure they return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You have literally saved us all. Oh, no, no. You have been most kind and helpful. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the peace. Yes, you can depend on that. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. Almost sneezed. Everyone, though it pains me. Uki, I hate sad goodbyes. I uh, hope to see you again. <laughs> where? Does no sir, where? Where? Oh, yes. Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Cynthia and Harmonia. That's us. Let's go up there. So this is really goodbye? Dusk Norser, for everything you've done. Thank you, sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? Pardon? It's too soon for farewells. Wham! You two are coming with me. Wham! My gosh, Cynthia Harmonia. What was... What just happened? But yeah, it was just Dialga that created time, not Dialga and Pelikia. Super hyper. And back to the future indeed. Wah! And good morning, Puppy Okam.